What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbaz. So I just went ahead and I installed my motor mount. The engine is upside down right now. This is where the oil pan goes. Um, I installed this guy. I painted him and clear coated it with the same uh, paint that I used for the exhaust manifold. And now we are ready to proceed with this guy that I have right here, the rear main seal. Once I get the rear main seal, I'll go ahead, install the oil pan, flipper over, and we'll go ahead and install the clutch and the flywheel. If you guys are wondering why this vacuum cleaner is always in the way, or it's always around me, is because I go ahead and every single time that I'm recording I don't have a tripod so I use this guy as my tripod I can slide it the handle up and down however tall I need it and then what I do is I tape the camera to right here going across the long way and then I adjust it to whatever I need and I could move it around so whatever works right for the rear main seal you're gonna make sure that everything is nice and clean that's what i'm gonna do right now getting a clean paper towel i'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down everything was already clean before but just in case So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take some of this ultra gray RTV because I don't have any handle bond. So this is what I'm using and we are going to go ahead and put a bead all the way around and then we're going to do the same thing over there and we're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. We're going to tighten up the bolts, let it sit for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we'll go ahead and we'll torque it down. Make sure that you guys don't lose these little dowel pins. One goes here and one goes over here. I have one on here and the other one is actually still attached to the engine. So you guys can see. All right, so I got it exactly where I needed it. I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy now. I did put a new gasket in here, if you guys are wondering. Alright, so we got this tying down. Now we're going to wait around 30 minutes. And after that, we'll go ahead and torque it down. Meanwhile, while we wait, we'll go ahead and... I guess we could put the filter right there, the oil filter. I don't see why not. I got an OEM one from Honda right there so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil in there run a little bit of oil on the lip and then I'll go ahead and screw it in I'm not gonna put a sandwich plate to get oil for my turbo I'm not gonna do that out of there so that's the only reason why I'm doing this. I don't see why not. So there it is. We're getting closer. A lot closer. Can't wait for this engine to be done and be dropped back into the car. So it's been around 30 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and torque this down and then I took a rag and I wiped all this edging where the oil pan is gonna sit. I got a oil pan gasket right here and we are gonna put the oil pan. For some reason, oil pans hate me. I've always had problems with oil pans. Um, I've done the sequence, 
I put the RTV exactly where it needs to be put and still they still leak today today I'm gonna try something differently I'm gonna try to put RTV from here I know that this is like the main spots these little corners and everything but I'm gonna put a bead all the way around and this oil pan is not gonna defeat me so I put the oil pan on and I lightly tie in these it's been around 20 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down they're supposed to be torqued at nine pounds I'm gonna go ahead and do five and basically the sequence for this like this that's a sequence to tie in the bolts so I'm gonna do five right now five pounds and then I'm gonna wait for that gasket maker that I put underneath to dry up a little bit longer and then I'll go ahead and finish it off at nine oil pan is on everything is torqued down to spec I double checked it three times because I don't want any so there's one more thing missing like I said there's one more thing missing I'm gonna show you guys right now my speed factory sticker I figured that was a good spot for it right on the oil pan so I really wanted to put the flywheel and the clutch on there but I am pretty tired so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and call it a video here and we'll continue this on the next episode but till then stay safe catch you guys later peace